Good morning, everyone. It's time once again for a 15 minute declutter. And today we're tackling this small chest. Uh, it's in our living room and it contains a whole bunch of my art supplies. And so let's set the timer and get busy. Okay, here we go. This chest has three drawers that I'm hoping that we can get through pretty quickly. And so, oh, <laughs> we have chopsticks that don't belong here. Uh, we have a set of books that Anne and I read from. They're these really old uh, little children's Bible books that we absolutely love, and we like to read those. I've got my garbage bag right here. We, it looks like we've got quite a bit of garbage in here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and have a pile for uh, put somewhere else, a pile for keep, and a pile for Goodwill. And I think we've got a book that we can give to, oh, look at these souvenirs from Disney World. We have a bunch more chopsticks. Now, how did chopsticks ever, how did this become the drawer for chopsticks? I don't know. And a book that can go downstairs. Garbage, a magazine, and then some pencil, some mechanical pencil things and erasers. So those need to go downstairs as well. So that drawer, that drawer didn't take long. The only thing I'm keeping in this drawer then are these books that we like to read together because everything else doesn't need to be there. Okay, so. Now we've got my watercolor things. I've got a couple of watercolor books that I'm slowly kind of working my way through. Uh, cleaning out is really a great idea because it reminds you of what you have and what you intended to use. And so I just think that's, it, it's been real helpful for me to remember what I have. So I'm going to put things up here <clears throat> that I think I'm going to keep here, but I want to look and see how much of it um, I really want to keep once I see the bulk of what I have. Um, I've got a lot of calligraphy stuff up here. Um, most of this, uh, I, I have done calligraphy in the last year, although I haven't used those calligraphy things because they've been in this drawer and I kind of forgot about them. I'm just going to dump that. Huh. So I've got... I'm putting those with my books. Okay. So I've got some... Just some projects I've been working on from the books. Those go down. Most of what I'm finding here, uh, actually I can see goes elsewhere. Uh, most of it goes downstairs. And then here's some of my paint. Okay, that drawer is cleaned out. Okay, we'll get that cleaned out. I do like having my watercolors um, upstairs because uh, this is where I generally do watercolor because it's got better light than the basement. I really uh, don't see very well in the basement. And so this is where I want to do it. This is, I just was testing different colors, just some little painting things. Uh, this is sketch paper, and I use that downstairs, not up. And then I have several different, uh, these, these are things I tend to keep because they help me understand my colors but you know what? I just realized that sheet is a set of um, gouache that I no longer have. And these are just some experimental things. These are colors I still have, so I'm going to keep that. And then just some practicing little things. I just, I don't need to keep all these. Just some trial and error. And uh, I like it when Anne paints with me too. But we don't have to keep all those because much of this really is about the process. And so, uh, I, we've got a whole bunch of little project papers. 
and I really don't need to keep all this paper. I really don't. I do want to keep that one. So these are, some of these are ideas of things to practice, to work on, but really I don't need a lot of paper uh, as I go forth and do this. Some of it, I, I learned what I needed to learn from that particular piece, and I don't really need to keep them. Let's put this down so you can see the drawer a little better. Yeah, and some of the things I've done, I think I will keep because they, I, you know, they show some progress and they inspire me. Ooh, chipboard, I can use that downstairs. But look, I have, I just have so many things and I really don't need to keep all of this. It's, it's a bit much and I, hmm, I think these are colors I do still have. So I'm keeping those as reference. Here is, here is something I've worked on for a while. Oh, some things that didn't turn out very well. And I, hmm, I feel like there are some things I want to save that kind of show some uh, work over time. But then there are things that, I don't know, I, I'm not quite sure what to do. I guess I don't need to save them. And that actually is something I was working on. Some trial things. That actually is empty. I've cleared out quite a bit. Um, let's see. There are some books that, yeah, I guess I could refer to that and get some ideas. And then a lot of things just kind of fiddling around, having fun with this. Okay. I think I can let most of that go. And then I have, uh, these are colors I do still have. And then just some trial and error <laughs> things. A lot of them I look at and it actually is more error than trial. That's what Anne did that I really love. I want to keep that. It's a little bit abstract, but I love it. Okay. So we got through all three drawers um, and I see now what I do want to keep. So let's see. I think I will go ahead and put these things that I use for reference or inspiration. I'll just go ahead and put those back in the bottom of that. And some of them are works in progress. And then I have my watercolor set. We have a couple of them. This one's mine, kind of a mess. <laughs> and I think I'll go ahead and put that in. Um, hold on. Let me get some of these Oops, papers back in. So I'm going to leave those. Now, I think most of my actual watercolor tubes are actually downstairs. So I need to bring those up. And then I have this travel set that I actually have not used in a lot of years. And I have a different travel set. Sometimes it is a little bit hard for me to let go of things like this that I have used for a lot of years. And they're kind of sentimental, even though it's just paint. Oh, and here, this one is Anne's set. And I want to keep both because when we paint together, that um, that's that's fun. We enjoy that. So I'm gonna get hers in there, and I think I think I'll take that downstairs and compare it to my other travel set, and then we'll make a decision about that. And so in this drawer. I think what I'll do is put my books that I'm using as reference. And 
and I think that's it. Um, these can go downstairs. I had forgotten that I had this set of colored pencils. I've been looking for colored pencils, and I forgot that I had those. And that's going to go downstairs. Okay. So... So in the end, uh, we've we've still got five minutes left. I've cleared out the whole thing, but I think the benefit of doing this one really is remembering what I have and remembering that those are things I want to do. So as I sort of clear up my home and my time, uh, I that's doing watercolor is one thing I really want to do, and so. Uh, cleaning out is a way to remind you of the things that you do want to do. Now, I was reading this morning uh, from Joshua Becker's book about um, the more of less, or <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And uh, he talks about freeing up our minds and freeing up our space to then really start doing what it is we want to do rather than maintaining a lot of inventory, spending a lot of time cleaning and trying to remember and find things that then we are actually freed up to do more of what we want to do. And I think watercolor is one of those things I'd like to do more of. And so it gives me an opportunity to remember and look forward to that. And in a free moment, get those things out onto the table and, and get back into watercolor. And so this was actually uh, more like a 12 minute declutter, but I hope uh, that you'll find something that you need to declutter and that it will remind you of, of things you would like to move forward with, things you would like to do as you free up your space and your time. And so hopefully you'll join me next time and we'll see you then.